Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about moving coil galvanometer. Moving coil galvanometer is a device which detects the presence of current or it measures small current in micro ampere range. So what is moving coil galvanometer? small current in micro ampere range ok so next we will see what is a working principle working principle the working principle of the moving bar galvanometer is when a current carrying coil is placed in a magnet field will experience a torque that is the working principle When a current carry coil is placed in a magnet field, it will experience a torque. That is the working principle of the moving coil galvanometer. We will see. So, I am taking as a magnet. This is the north pole and this is the south pole. I place a coil, rectangular coil in between this uniform magnet field and I supply a current. Okay. If the current will flow through this coil, this coil experiences a torque. Torque means coil cause a rotation. Cause a rotation. Okay, this coil started rotating. So what I am going to do means I am going to connect a point of and a screen. Okay, I am going to connect a point of and a screen. So when the coil rotate, the point of moves. Power SK. So in the scale, I can measure how much is the moment. Okay. The current increases, torque increases. So the coil moves like this more, more deflection in the coil. So I got a more reading. Okay. This is the basic thing. Based on this, we can construct the moving coil galvanometer. Okay. So look at here. This is the construction of the Moving coil galvanometer. The main parts are coil, soft and core, cylindrical, magnet, and a spring. Okay, clear? Look at here. This coil, the blue color one is the coil. The coil is to be bounded over a cylindrical soft and core. Okay. Why soft and core is used? Soft and core is used to increase the magnetic. Cylindrical soft end core is used to maintain the magnet field is radial. Okay, then this coil can free to rotate in a fixed axis. That means if the coil is like this, it can rotate like this in two direction. Okay, it can rotate like this and it can rotate like this. Okay, in a fixed axis, it can rotate. Okay, clear. This entire setup, this setup is placed in between a cylindrical magnet. Why cylindrical magnet is used? Cylindrical magnet provides radial magnet field. That means you look at here, this is a top view. Okay, from here, the top view. This is a soft end core, and this one is a blue color one is a coil. This is a cylinder. You look at here, 
the cylindrical magnet pro my magnet provide the magnetic field always in the radial direction this is the radial direction okay so the magnetic field is always along this direction when it will be rotated also the magnetic field is always along this direction okay clear okay then you look at here this is a coil okay the magnetic field is in this direction the magnetic field is acting in this direction along like this okay this is the magnetic field okay clear so what about the area of it this is a coil i am assuming through this coil the current is to be passes like this so what about the area of it area vector how you can find out the area vector area vector you can find out by call the fingers so you see that it is going into it okay this is a area vector okay so now you see always the magnetic field is along this so the area vector is like this. so the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field is 90 degree so like this so this is a thing the area vector is like this this is the angle okay clear the magnetic field is always like this this is the magnetic field okay clear okay so the cylindrical magnet is used to provide the radial magnet so that the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field is 90 degree okay clear okay then next you see that there is a spring is the in the one end of the spring is connected to the coil and another end is connected to the grid okay there is a pointer and a scale is also connected to the coil okay when the coil rotates along with the the pointer deflect okay clear so there is a two wire connection one is to be the positive terminal another is a negative terminal to the coil to supply the current okay this is a working construction of the moving coil galvanometer next we will see the working of the moving coil galvanometer okay clear now you see the working we will supply a current to by using these two terminal when the current flows through this coil the coil experiences a torque due to that torque the coil started to rotate okay so this coil experiences a reflection torque how much is the torque when a current carrying coil is placed in a magnetic field the torque is equal to m cross b what is m m is the magnetic moment its value is n i a n i a here we are using this coil having number of turns so many number of turns so n is to be m so look at here now you will get Torque to is equal to m d sin theta. Theta is the angle between m and b. What is the direction of m? M have the same direction of area vector. So you will get it as n i a b sin. What about the theta? You look at here. Because of this radial magnetic field, always the angle between the magnetic field and area vector is 90 degree. Okay, clear? Okay. This is the thing. So the torque is N I A B. You will get this is the deflection, deflecting torque due to the current of force. You will experience a torque. That torque we will call it as deflection torque. Okay. The coil rotate. What happened to the spring? The spring tighten. So in the spring there is a restoring torque is developed. okay so what about that restoring torque in exerted on the spring okay so the restoring torque is equal to k into 5 what is 5 5 is 
phi is a deflection from the skin deflection from the skin you can see that when the deflection torque is exerted you can see that the point are experience a deflection so the angle how much is the deflection so that is measured from the scale what is k k is the spring constant okay k is spring constant constant okay this is a deflection torque and this is a restoring torque developed developed in the spring this restoring torque and the deflecting torque equal so the deflection torque is how much n i a t is equal to how much k phi okay from this what is phi phi is equal to n a b divided by k into i clear okay so what about n n is the number of turns a is the cross section area b is the magnetic field k is the spring constant all the values are constant if you are constructed a moving coil galvanometer or an mct these all the variables are constant this of n is to be constant a is constant b is constant k is constant so this we can take it as a constant okay clear so now we can write as phi is equal to g into i what is g g is the galvanometer constant galvanometer constant and its value is how much g is equal to n a b divided by k clear so now i can write it as the phi is directly proportional to i that means more current flows more deflection we can get from the pointer okay so the current is less or less deflection so we can easily measure the current okay clear and one more thing is the current direction in the opposite direction what about the deflection initially the pointer is deflected like this if the current is to be direction changes the torque experienced from the coil is in the opposite direction so the pointer moves in the opposite direction clear okay then what about the symbol of the galvanometer we are using a galvanometer symbol like this also we can do is a is a simple symbol otherwise we can use this this is a dial of the galvanometer series with a resistance r g what is r g r g is a resistance of the galvanometer these two symbol we can use okay then next we will see about the current sensitivity and voltage sensitivity of a galvanometer okay clear current sensitivity the current sensitivity means it is the amount of deflection produced in the moving coil galvanometer when unit current flows through the coil clear okay this amount of deflection Produced for unit current. Clear? Okay. Then what is the formula for the deflection? Phi is equal to n a b divided by k into i. Okay. So we need to know what is the deflection produced by unit current. So phi by i. This is the current sensitivity. This phi by i. That is equal what you get? N a b by k. Clear? So current sensitivity is equal to n a b divided by k so if a galvanometer is converted to an ammeter it should have high current sensitivity so 
we will see how we can increase as the current sensitivity. From look at here, the current sensitivity can be increased by increasing the number of turns. Okay. So area cross section, there is a limitation in that to increase as the area cross section, magnitude strength you can increase. Okay. And the scale constant changes also there is some limitation. Okay. Clear? So mainly we are using the number of turns, small number of turns is used to increase the current sensitivity. Okay, clear? Next we will see about the voltage sensitivity. Okay, voltage sensitivity means it is the amount of deflection produced in, in the coil when unit voltage is applied. Okay, unit voltage is applied, how much is the deflection? Okay, that is the voltage sensitivity. Okay. Unit voltage. Clear? Okay. Then, we will see the formula for that. What is the deflection phi formula? We already know the deflection phi formula is NAB divided by K into I. What about phi by I? Phi by I is equal to NAB divided by K. So we need deflection per unit voltage. So phi is equal to I into R like that I am taking here also multiply by R. So this side also I will multiply it. So this is the K R. Clear? Now you see that this I into R is the voltage. R is the total resistance of the galvanometer. Okay. So now you will get that phi by B is equal to N A B divided by K R. So if you use a galvanometer to convert as a voltmeter, it should have high voltage sensitivity. So that you have increases the voltage sensitivity. Okay. So previously we are increased number of turns, but that will not work here because if number of turns increases, what about the length? Length increases, so the resistance increases. So what about the current voltage sensitivity that will decrease? Okay. So we have to use another method increases the Increases the magnetic field and increases the area cross section and the K has to decrease. Okay. By using this method, we can increase the voltage sensitivity of a moving coil galvanometer. Okay. This is about a moving coil galvanometer. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe my channel. If you like this video, please put like.